All right, so let's take a look at another problem uh, solving applications using uh, systems of linear equations. It says when an airplane flies with the wind, it travels 400 miles in four, I mean, I'm sorry, 800 miles in four hours, and against the wind, it takes 500, um, it takes five hours to cover the same distance. We want to find the plane's rate in still air and the rate of the wind. All right, so x is going to be one of these and y will be the other. So I'm going to let x be uh, planes rate in still air and y is going to be the rate of the wind okay and just like in all the other videos I've done with these uh, systems of application uh, systems of equations the applications it doesn't matter which one you let X and which ones Y okay that makes no difference all right <clears throat> now let's look at this it's 800 miles in four hours and five hours when we're going into the wind against the wind well this is this is a distance rate time problem okay so let, let's just look at this so with let me use a different color okay so so we're gonna have distance rate and time okay so let's look at this all right, so let's let's do this with the wind and against the wind. Okay, let's just make a little table. I think it'll make it easier. All right, so the distance that we travel is 800 miles, and that's both directions. Okay. A plane flies with the wind, it travels 800 miles. Against the wind, it covers the same distance. So the distance is 800 on both of them. All right. Now, let's look at this. Well, when, they, when we fly with the wind, he travels for four hours. So the time there would be four hours. And against the wind, okay, they travel for five hours. All right. Now let's look at the rate. So with the wind, it's the speed of the plane in still air plus the rate of the wind. So the rate here would be x plus y. Okay, and then against the wind, well, that would be the rate of the plane in still air minus the rate of the wind. Okay, so you know that distance is equal to rate times time. So what we have here is a system of equations. So I'm going to do rate times time. So that's going to be 4 times the rate. Okay, that's the time times the rate is equal to the distance. I just wrote it backwards instead of instead of writing it like this equals x plus y times 4. Okay, that, that's the same thing. I just wrote it where the X and Y is on the left-hand side. All right, and then my system for against the wind, it's rate times time. So 5 times X minus Y is equal to distance. All right, now let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and distribute the 4, distribute the 5, so that's going to give us 4x plus 4y equals 800 and 5x minus 5y equals 800. Now we've got a simple system of equations to solve. Okay, so I'm going to use the addition method here. So, well, I'm going to make the y values go out. So I'll have to multiply this by 5. That'll give me a positive 20 multiply this by 4 that'll give me a negative 20 okay 
So that is going to give me 20x plus 20y equals 4,000. Multiply the 5 to each term. Now let's multiply the 4 to each term in the second one. So that's 20x minus 20y equals 3,200. And then we add. So I get 40x is equal to, well, let's see. That's going to be 4,000 minus 3,200. That gives me uh, 800. I'm sorry. Not subtracting, am I? I'm adding. That's 7,200. Okay. So the 4,000 plus 3,200, that gives me 7,200. And then we'll divide both sides by 40. So 7,200 divided by 40, that is going to give me x is equal to 180. And that would be miles per hour. And remember, x is the plane's rate in still air. So the plane's rate in still air would be 180 miles per hour. And now I need the rate of the wind, which the rate of the wind is y. So I can take the 180 and I can plug it into any one of these. Okay, Plug it into any one you want. So, I don't know, let's, I guess we just plug it into this one. So I have 4 times x, and in the place of x, I'm going to plug in 180 plus 4y equals 800. So now, let's see, 180 times 4, that's going to be 720 plus 4y equals 800 and then I'll subtract 720 to both sides so I get 4y equals 80 and then divide both sides by 4 and so I get y is equal to 20 miles per hour so that would be the rate of the wind Okay, that's the rate of the wind, and that's the rate of the plane in still air. So I hope this video helped. Check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and comment, and thanks for watching.